Hey, what is up, everybody? This is your boy, AJ Tripp. And welcome to The Word According to Me. Midterm elections 2018. Was it a blue wave? Well, I think that's what we're looking for, right? We're looking to see. Because we heard this, all this thing about it was going to be a blue wave coming in this midterm election. And I, for one, even as a Democrat, did not believe it. I just didn't believe it. And, um,. There are, there are some things to say that it possibly was a blue wave. Um, uh, a lot of there was a lot of Democratic victories, winning seats in the House, winning seats in in, 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 in the governors' races as well. That make can make you think that it, it was, but then there were also some other things where the Republicans, you know. You know they maintained, or they 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 gained as well. Like even in even in Nevada, uh, Dennis Hoff, uh, he is the proprietor of the uh, legal brothels of many legal brothels in Nevada. Um, he also passed away a couple of weeks ago. He still won his election, even though he was passed away. So, um, kind of just shows you that, you know, there were, there were some big things going on. So, um, just, we're just going to quickly take a look here at, um, uh, a couple websites, uh, theguardian.com and, uh, MSNBC, uh, website. We're going to take a look at some stats, take a look at some exit, exit polls, and then come to maybe try to come together at the end with some type of uh, thing. And links down in the description if you want to um, go along or um, even check out for yourself. So, um, as of right now, uh, as of this recording, at 11 o'clock uh, Chicago time, um, with 31 of 35 races called, the Republicans are 51 to 45 in the Senate, and they look to be gaining uh, two seats, meaning that it is like that they're going to be, uh, it's going to be like they're going to be 53 to like 40 something, 40, uh, 53 to 47 majority. It, look, it looks like I don't know if they're including. Yeah, they are. They are including in the independents and the Democrats. So uh, it looks like that's what it's going to be. In the House, the Democrats took 27 seats, um, with 414 of the 435 races called, which is something I just didn't know. I didn't I, I, either. I forgot, and, I, and that's very well because I haven't been in school in a long time, or I just didn't know. But I didn't know that all 435 uh, members of Congress. Are voted on every two years. Yeah, I didn't know that. You know, so that's kind of a surprise uh, for me. So I was surprised to hear that when, you know, so in two years we're going to be doing this again. So, and and, and, and we'll see if that's the real blue wave if, if that happens. Um, uh, and, and this is I'm I'm starting my research from the Guardian at this first. At this point, uh, it says a Democratic upset failed to materialize as crucial toss-up seats went to the Republicans and have cons cons consolidated. Con oh boy, come on, Andre, you can speak. Uh, <laughs> uh, and have consolidated their hold on the Senate. Um, okay, the Democrat for the House, the Democrat. Met expectations in many seats they were expected to flip, but mostly fear to chalk up surprises. They are, though, in control of the lower chamber and at last in position to challenge Donald Trump. And that's what I think a lot of people are really excited about, really, in particular, Democrats. They are really excited that the fact that Donald Trump can no longer just make laws and have them go through with a, a Republican House and a Republican Senate. Uh, and just have it pass on through. 
that now there will be a check on uh, Donald Trump. So if he tries to pass something that seem the days seem to be um, well, just I'm now silly or foolish or whatever, uh, they they're not going to do it. So um, I think that's why a lot of Democrats were happy last night. Although there was still some, still a lot of some were still very very upset at somehow some of the uh, races ended. Um, the governors. Democrats were keen to win governorships in crucial swing states to avoid Republican gerrymandering in the 2020 census redistricting. They would be disappointed not to take Georgia or Florida. Um, they uh, they did. Um, I was watching last night, and and uh, th there were some big things. Um, for, first off, the race in Georgia. The, the, the lady, uh, she was the first black um, um, candidate in Georgia to run, to run for um, governor. She did not concede, and that's because the, the Republican, I think his name is Kemp, uh, he, you know, he's also like, um, he was, he, apparently he was doing something to keep uh, vote, like voter turnout down with obviously the black people who would vote for a black um or at least the majority of them would vote for a black. Um, remember, that she did not concede. And in fact, here on the Guardian's website, they still have it great. They, they don't. It, it's I guess they're still saying it's too close to call. So, um, so yeah, I, I I think this was this was very very interesting. As, as I see on here, as I as I, as I look up on here. Um, the Democrats did seem to do something. Uh, so with, with some of the states that that lean Republican, like Kansas, they 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 won the governorship. They, did, they won the governorship in Kansas. So Kansas has a uh, Democratic governor. Her name is Laura Kelly. Um, and like over here. Um, like in the House, Kendra Horn beat the uh, Democrat beat the Repu Republican incumbent Steve Russell to take over take a take a likely Republican seat in, in Oklahoma. By the way, in fact, so the one thing you can look at by the map and the Guardian does a good job of it. They good they give you a good job of, of telling you, you know, what states are likely Democrat, what states lean Democrat, and, you know, and same thing with, um, the, with states lean Republican, what states, um, or what seats, I should say, it's not, it's not necessarily states, because there, 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 there have been times when, like, here in Illinois, Illinois, we are a, I, I, I've always thought we were a blue state. And that's particularly because of Chicago. Chicago is a blue city, without question. I don't know. When, I don't think we've ever had a Republican mayor, so, uh, so, or you know, anything like that. So, you know, and there have been times when Republicans have won run the state. But again, you do just think that the way, just as just as just as you thought that maybe this country, the way this country was growing, that it was just going to continue to be Democrats. Running, uh, being elected for president. Now it would just be Democrats just being elected for governor here in Illinois. And for some reason, Bruce Rauner was elected four years ago, and they, they passed all these. They, they, they passed a dumbass concealed carry law here. In, you know, you know, in in the state of Illinois. So all of it were, was was very very stupid. Um, but we get back on track this year. I, I don't I think very few uh, Illinois, uh, very, very few Republicans were, were were elected yesterday in in state of Illinois. So that's that's a good thing, um, at least for me in Illinois. Um, but yeah, the the the, the, uh, the Guardian breaks it down so good. Again, the link will be down in the description box. You you should check it out, and you know, and in, in case you want to really want to know 
what, what it happens. And it also it gives you a map to it gives you a map for the states, for the Senate, for the House, and for the governor results. So you can know uh, what's going down. All right, and and, and 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 it's live too. It's still live because there are still races that need to be called. Like I said, like the governor race in Georgia, even though Kemp seems to have a lead, um, you know, uh, the the uh, the young lady is not going to uh, um, concede just yet because of all those things. And now I read something about uh, the Rick Scott Senate seat in Florida. Rick Scott. He won a Senate seat in Florida. Uh, that's good. I saw on Twitter that that's going to be recounted. Here we go with the recount in Florida again. God. Oh, my goodness. That, that, I, I turned 18 in 2000. That was my first time voting. And I, my first time voting, we get a in recount in Florida. No, thank you. <laughs> oh. Okay, so... Uh, as I, as I go over here to uh, NBC News, um, uh, so I, I think what it, what it looks here is um, they have an estimate. They actually have an estimate of the uh, House being Democratic 230, Republican 205. That makes up the 435. Um, place and uh they would be obviously in control uh of the uh house uh they don't have any the senate they they have some they have some exit polls i want to go to but really quick i want to talk about um we'll talk about on uh, 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 one thing in particular everybody was talking about texas and how better or work uh how, how he had um like galvanized the state of Texas and, and 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 everybody was really hoping that um, Beto would would know would um, would take the Senate seat from Ted Cruz. It did not happen. Ted Cruz won. Texas is a red state. You know, I, I you know, I, and I, it would it would have been a fantastic. You know, I, I think that 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 would have proven to me that there was a truly blue, blue wave, and I, and and that's why I think for me. Is the whole thing is that when you you know and, and and it happened in a lot of places it happened when in, in places where that were, like I just talked about um, in Kansas um, leans Republican it went and voted in a Democratic governor so but I think I would have need, wanted to see more of that I would have wanted to have seen Stacey Abrams win in Georgia or uh, or Gallum win in Florida you know. I wanted to see better work when the, the Texas Senate seat. These things did not happen. Um, so I, I, that's why, for me personally, I just don't think you can uh, you can call it a blue wave. I really don't. I don't think you can call it a blue wave. It was a good night for the Democrats, without question. It was a good night. They took control of the House. They now have a check on Donald Trump. But... I don't think right now Donald Trump is speaking, um, but I, I don't think that it was a, a blue wave at all. But uh, Democrats are probably happy. Let's quickly just go through these um, these uh, uh, exit polls here. Um, so uh, from from there look like it looked like that from the people that they're polled, they polled. Um, fifty-two percent of women uh, and forty-eight percent of men. Of those forty-eight percent that they that they of men that they polled, forty-seven percent of them voted Democrat. Fifty-one percent voted Republican. And of those fifty-two percent of women, fifty-nine voted Democrat. Forty percent voted for for uh voted forty percent voted Republican. Very interesting. I don't. I don't. They don't have any stats, but I would love to see what what happened from uh, to, uh, 2016. See if there's any big changes in that. The age. The age doesn't really. It, it doesn't really change because as you can look, they 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 break it down into several categories, and I'm gonna go through all of them. But as you see, the younger it is, the more democratic it is. With 18 to 24. 
18 to uh, uh, 29 to 20, 24 to 25. So, you know, as, as you get to 50 and older, that's when it becomes more Republican. Uh, and, and actually, just by very few, 50 to 64 percent, um, no, excuse me, 50, if, if, okay, hold on, let me start this video. 50, people age 50 to 64 made up 30% of the people that they polled. 49% were Democrat, 50% were Republican. This 65, people 65 and older made up of 26% of the people they polled. They were 48% Democrat, 50% Republican. So that's, uh, that, even that's very close. But there are bigger gaps as you get down. Like I said, 18 to 24, they made up that they made up seven percent, which again is still at still. Now again, that, that's not the entire thing. That's just the people they polled. That's still kind of a low number, at least for me. You know, that should be that should be a higher number, but out of, out of the out of the people of the who ate range in age of eighteen to twenty four. 68% of them voted Democrat, 31% of them voted Republican. Now, I, I, I talked about a little while ago about um, how, how how I thought, you know, that, you know, Democrats were going to continue to control uh, the White House. And that's why, because of the younger people, because we knew the younger people were being more Democratic. We were going towards more Democratic. Because of because of the way the Republican Party sees um, Muslims, sees um, Mexicans, sees uh, saw gay marriage, uh, saw um, marijuana. Although I think more Republicans are now changing their tone on marijuana. I'm still probably the only Democrat that's wants to, that doesn't want to legalize marijuana, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, but still, but. but those are Demo those are only democratic issues. Those are people issues, and, Demo and and as younger people want those issues to be, you know, about civil rights. So that's why there was this thinking that the you know the Democrats were going to control the White House because that's you know because that's along the line that. You know the Democrats would be, and the younger people would do that. But obviously, with Donald Trump, it that did not happen, and he galvanized his 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 base, the Republican base, to vote. So, and as you can still see, it still did not work out because, you know, that you know that eighteen to twenty four, you know, of the people that they polled, to only for that to only be seven percent seems to me still seems to be low I, I I like to see that in the 20s if you, you have you can put that in the 20s then I think that is going to be incredible now we got two years left and more you know people are going to be 18 I think maybe some of our young friends in part from from Parkland um, they they're going to turn 18 over those next two years, so I think they will. Obviously, they are going to be voting, and more and more young people are going to turn 18 over there. So we will see what comes down the next two years. There were some definitely some other things. Obviously, the race one, um, they polled 72 percent um, were white. Out of those 72 percent, 54 percent voted Republican. The 28 28 percent of Don Whites they polled, 76 percent of those voted for Democrats. Um, again, um, if you had a college degree, if you are, if you are a college graduate, um, you voted, you know, for Democrats, 59 percent of them voted for the Democrats. Uh, if you didn't even, if you did not have a college degree, and that was 59 percent of the people that they polled, um, it was actually a virtual tie, forty-nine percent each one, Republican and Democrat. Um, 
it, it looks like um, uh, they did by the region um, east on the east coast, sixty one percent were Democrat on the west coast, sixty sixty percent were Democrat. The south, fifty two percent were Republican, and the Midwest fifty percent were Republican. Um, and there are there are many other ones here. Uh, and let's also let's 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 quickly do the party identification and then party um, gender and then we'll we'll we we'll, we'll end it for I'll do my final word and we'll end this one. Again, the links to both this site and the Guardian site will be down in the description box. Take a look at it. I urge you to take a look at it and look to see where everything is at, find more information about it. Uh, it, it, I think these were good things for me to learn about as well. Um, and I tried to keep up with it a little bit. You know, I don't do, you know, I used to be really big into it. I used to watch Rachel Maddow every night, <laughs> you know, at one point. But, you know, I still watch, I, I now watch um, Bill Maher. Uh, but anyway, party identification. Um, for the people that they polled, they, the people who called themselves Democrats were 37%. 95% of those people voted Democrat. Other five went, then voted for, voted for a Republican. 33% of the people uh, that they polled called themselves Republican. 94% of those voted part along party line, meaning only 6%. At, uh, at, the, at the most, six percent voted for a Democrat or somebody else, and thirty percent of people considered themselves the people that they polled considered themselves independent or something else, and they voted fifty-four percent Democrat to forty-two percent Republican. So as we look, and it is it, definitely it's definitely along party lines as well. Um, uh, when you look at gender, Democratic men, the people of the beauty polled, Democratic men, 14%, 94% of them stayed along party lines. They polled 23% of Democratic women, 96% of those stayed along party line. 17% considered themselves Republican men, 94% stayed along the party line. Republican women, 16%, 93% of those. Independent men. Here's now. Here's where I think um, where things are, it's it's going to have to change one way or another. If the Democrats want to if the Democrats want to get inside that uh and inside that White House in 2020. 16 percent of the independent men that they polled, 51 percent voted Democrat, 44 percent voted Republican. The independent women, 13 percent. 56% of those voted for Democrats, 39% voted Republican. And I think that's the one right there. The independent men and independent women. Those are the ones that they're going to have to get. They're going to have to get that up into the 60s and maybe even pass into the 70s if they're, if they're going to want to uh, take the White House over Donald Trump. Because I, I, I've said this before. I just think in this day and age, you get eight years to do your job in the White House. Clinton got eight years. Bush uh, got eight years. Obama got eight years. And I, I, I think Trump's going to get eight years. I, 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 I just, I really do. So I'm not, I'm not going to be surprised or feeling upset about it um, or be too upset about it. In 2020, if that were to happen, but if they if they want to change uh, and get a Democrat in that White House, I think first off it has to be the right candidate. That's the first off, and because a lot of people would say that Hillary Clinton just wasn't the right candidate. Now I don't, I don't think Bernie Sanders was the right candidate either, but that's neither here nor there. That's the past. They got to get the right candidate, and then, then they have to try to turn around this ind make independent men, independent women want to vote for them. So, uh, yeah, so, uh, once again, I kind of just think, um, 
I kind of just think you you have to uh, just take take everything into perspective and and say yeah it was a great night for the Democrats without question they took control of the House they won seats that they should not they, they weren't supposed to win um, but as for a blue wave I mean you know you came close in Florida you came close in Georgia and you um, you almost came close in Texas with Beto O'Rourke taking that seat from from Ted Cruz. If those three things would have happened, I would have said I would have agreed with you. Yes, blue wave all the way. Uh, but I honestly don't think you can consider it to be a blue wave. Now, as you, if you're a Democrat, you should be happy with it. You should be hey. And look towards 2020, and like I said, and seeing how, you know, and, and taking a look at the candidates that are already out there and seeing what, you know, who do you think is the best person that could take down Donald Trump? Republicans should be looking at, you know, not trying to instill fear. At least that's from my opinion, not trying to instill fear. Trying to get back to maybe today, maybe some of their, you know, some of their old school values, you know. You shouldn't, they shouldn't be trying to instill fear about this, you know, these immigration or the gun control or anything like that. They should be trying to get back to the government thing, government out of this, you know, thing, you know. And I, and I also think. If, if, if they want the independent vote, I, I'm almost certain that that the, the whole precondition, um, pre-existing conditions thing that they were about, that's why they lost a lot of seats. Especially, they lost a lot of seats in Illinois, uh, Congress in uh, the, the House seats because of that, because of the, because of the pre -con, con, pre existing conditions. It took that away. And I'm sure a lot of independents voted Democratic because of that. They need, they, they, they need to look at that and change their view on that. I, 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 you know, I think the Republican Party needs to evolve just a little bit. They can still have their conservative values and what they believe in, whatever that's, and still kind of evolve. And don't get me wrong, the Democrats need to do that as well. The Democrats need to still have their value, their value and evolve as well. There's absolutely no, no reason no reason to just raise <laughs> taxes on everybody. You know, does does have does that, does that have high ass taxes? <laughs> you know, California is not going to be livable <laughs> for people. It's it, it, the highest taxes in the world. People in California, you know, even the richest people, they're like, they're like you know, still they they can afford it, but do you really need it? So. Everybody, everybody needs to evolve along their party lines. So that's just the way I see it. Uh, as you know, I don't do a lot of politics on this uh, on this channel, but when, you know, when I do, I think it's because it's important. And um, this midterm election was important, and 2020 is going to be important. So. I'm gonna talk about them. If something else happens down the line, I'll talk about it. If it's truly important, um, so yeah, that's that's it. Uh, we're gonna go back. You know, uh, you'll see more wrestling videos. You'll see more. Uh, try not to laugh. You'll see more reaction videos coming soon. But today, uh, definitely, I wanted to give my thoughts about the midterm election and whether or not it really was a blue wave. Post your comments down below. Tell me what you guys think. And what you guys saw um, yesterday in the scene. Did you vote? Let me know why you voted. You know, if you didn't vote, let me know. also know why you didn't vote. You know, I, 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 I only saw one person on Twitter say that they wasn't going to vote. And I was, and I was like, wow. You know, really? So... I, well, actually, that's on another person, but she couldn't vote because she's not from here. <laughs> so that's why she said she wasn't going to vote. But I'm sure if she, if she, if she was actually a natural, if she was a 
a U.S. citizen, you know, she probably would, but. Yeah, so post your comments down below and just let me know what you think down in the comment section. Um, keep it, you know, ha have have a conversation, you know, and have it, and if you want to have a debate, that's fine. Don't don't take it overboard. I don't want, I don't want that down there. As one as one thing I really truly hate is that is the hatred. We should be able to agree to disagree. No name calling. No. All right, not gonna have that. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy, AJ Tripp, signing off. As always, be good to each other, y'all. Be careful out there. I am out.